Martini Gocce is a survivor of the Rainbow Warrior bombings by French intelligence 30 years ago. He now resides on the peaceful Waiheke Island and volunteers for Waiheke Radio after his daughter encouraged him to. Uh, we look for tracks to get it, you know, uh, for, to, for, to make a CD to play on a show. And uh, at one stage she asked me, hey, don't you want to do a show? And I uh, thought, so, yeah, maybe, yeah, not a bad idea. Margaret Mills, the relief cook on the Rainbow Warrior at the time of the bombing, also lives on the island. It changed my life in that I made a lot of new friends, a lot of friends that were younger than me and are, are, who are still my friends today. Unfortunately, one of those friends didn't make it. Fernando Pereira drowned after being trapped in his cabin. Fernando was there. I saw him in his, uh, in his uh, cabin door. He, he had his cameras, you know. He wanted to uh, take pictures. Obviously, he was a photographer on board. Martini and Margaret both continued to give back to the Waiheke community. Margaret wrote a poem in honour of Fernando. No martyr he seeking death between the narrow walls of man-made faith. He gave his work and enjoyed the giving. He should be famed not for dying, but for living, for how he used his life and for caring. He did not give his life, they took it. He left a memory of life and laughter. I'm glad he liked the bread.